Customer Service Award. This award recognizes customer service that has gone the extra mile to eliminate barriers to participation. This award is intended to recognize organizations that do not specialize in accessibility, but have made it a priority to consider access in the way that they interact with their customers. The recipient of this award receives $500. Nomination process. Firstly, by email. Please send your nomination as a Microsoft Word document. One of the panel judges may be blind or have low vision, and their screen reader can read all Microsoft Word documents, but only a few types of PDF documents. Attach the documents and images to an email. If the files are too big, please email to discuss options. Secondly, you can send by post to Wellington City Council, PO Box 2199, Wellington 6140. Thirdly, by New Zealand Sign Language Videos. The form can be submitted in New Zealand Sign Language to a maximum of three minutes. Section A of the nomination form needs to be filled and sent by email to accessibility at wcc.govt. Nz. You can sign your answers to sections B to D and then send the video links in an email. A panel of judges will make the final decisions. These judges may be members of Wellington City's Accessibility Advisory Group or other accessibility groups. The person making the nomination may be asked to provide further supporting information for the judging panel. We will confirm receipt of your nomination and eligibility within one week of receiving it. If you need any clarification or wish to discuss your nomination, please contact Wellington City Council by email or phone. Late or incomplete nominations will not be accepted. Required nomination information. A. Contact details. Please ensure your nominee knows they are being nominated. A1. Contact details of nominee. Firstly, name. Secondly, phone or mobile. Thirdly, postal address. Fourthly, email and website. A2. Your details, i.e. the person making the nomination. Your name. Job title or organisation. Phone or mobile, email, postal address, b. What the judges want to know. Please use the word length as a guide and use bullet points. Use additional pages if necessary. b1. What aspects of accessibility has this nomination addressed? Take as many as applicable. Firstly, visual. Secondly, deaf. Thirdly, mobility. Fourthly, cognitive. Fifthly, other. B2. What's the organization's key business? Maximum, 300 words. B3. How has the customer service at this organization ensured that they are accessible? Maximum 300 words.
B4. Any other comments? This is optional. Maximum 200 words. C. Support material. The judges require C1, at least one support letter for the nominee, up to a maximum of three support letters. C2, a maximum of three additional items of support material. Examples of additional support material. Publicity material, media clippings, publications, e-newsletters, a website address, or a link about the nominee. Please do not include originals, as these will not be returned. D. Nomination checklist. Before submitting your nomination, please type an X in the boxes below to ensure all information is supplied correctly. Firstly, the nominee does not provide accessibility services as their core line of business. Secondly, the nominee is based in Wellington City or benefits Wellington City residents. Thirdly, the nominee knows they are being nominated. Fourthly, every section of this nomination form is completed. Fifthly, at least one support letter has been included. Sixthly, maximum of three additional items of support material has been included. Seventhly, you have read the frequently asked questions.